the day that Troy Davis died, I remember going to the practice room in Juilliard and trying to be with the piano. Good evening. No execution has received this much attention in decades. was sent to George's death row for the 1989 murder of Mark MacPhail. Seven of the nine prosecution witnesses have now recanted. 600,000 petitions. Pope Benedict and former President Jimmy Carter are among prominent voices saying there's too much uncertainty. And the state didn't pardon him. The federal didn't pardon him. And he was executed. And then I just lost it. I was just crying, just feeling like straight up like the world was ending. Troy Anthony Davis, who was pronounced dead tonight at 11.08 Eastern time in the death chamber at the Jackson, Georgia facility. I believe 100% that the artist's duty is to reflect the times. I've been working on this project called the Transformation Suite for the last five years, trying to get it right. I was always so excited to bring the Transformation Suite back to the Bay Area because it has this history of proud black traditions, people coming together and building movements. I don't come from a family of artists, I come from a family of community organizers. Just like Pac, like, you know, like I said, I was birthed by the movement. The artists that I respect the most, you know, like James Baldwin, like Harry Belafonte, like Nina Simone, like Billie Holiday, they did things beyond the music that they wrote. They contributed to causes, they marched, they were in the rooms with organizers trying to figure out how they could contribute. Our best musicians in the jazz tradition were radical imaginaries. You listen to their thing and you're like, I never heard this before. And that's what we need in our country outside of art too, is we actually literally need to come up with new frameworks. Most times, to be honest, I think like a lot of us, I feel a little bit helpless. And when I perform that piece, I feel empowered. That's a gift that the piece has given to me. But I'm not trying to just sit at my piano and write music. I'm trying to say, how can I be most of use to people that are hurting? It's always been a collective project. If we're gonna get to true liberation, it takes all of us.